Hello and welcome to this mod tutorial. Today I want to show you the Energize Power, a technology mod for Forge and Fit. For that I'm playing on the Energize Power tutorial mod, as you can see here. If you want to play it yourself, please check out the description. Let's get started. For every mod we need resources. And for Energize Power there are two main resources. Copper ingots and silicon. Silicon can be smelted, uh, can be created by smelting quartz. Um, as you can see, I'm using a recipe viewer mod so that everything is a bit easier to show. Um, here we go. Oh. <laughs> well. um, oh, um. As you can see, normal smelting recipes need 10 seconds, and this one needs 25 seconds. So, and then, if it's ready, you can take the silicon. So, to get started in this mod, you should start by creating a solar panel. This is the most easiest form of energy production. And can be crafted really easily. Some resources to create a solar cell. This is the base material for a solar panel. Here we go. Then we can use two of them with some other resources to create a solar panel, basic solar panel. A tier 1 basic solar panel. And I'm able to find it. Here we go. This can only produce 64 Fe per tick. And only if the sun is shining. The efficiency depends on the current time and on the weather. So 64 Fe per tick is the peak performance of this. And what is it? For most other machines, we need machine frames. For that, we need silicon blocks, which can be created with nine silicon. So, we should farm a lot of silicon. <laughs> Here we have a basic machine frame. This block itself can do nothing. It's only a base crafting material for other blocks. And we can create Sawmill. This is a very basic block which can increase wood production output. For that we need a saw blade. This can be created easily too. And then we can create this block when I am able to find it. Here we go. A very simple interface with energy bar, inputs and outputs, and main, one main output and one secondary output. Of course, all recipes can be viewed with a recipe viewer like J, as I'm using here. Um, here is a simple setup. First, we need some power, and it fills up, and then we can start sawing and as you can see here we go with six planks instead of four and we get a bit of sawdust. Sawdust can be crafted to sawdust blocks and those can be smelted to charcoal. And of course this machine can be automated. Foppers or any other form of item transportation but I have only vanilla with <laughs> Energize power and the item should be sold. And we could also put in a note block so we get a different output. As you can see, first the main output slot will be emptied, then the secondary output slot. So we and continue now. 
with cables. For cables, we need cable insulators. This is a very unique recipe. Yes. You need to place a wood block and right click and get 18 cable insulators. This can be automated with your dispenser, but the shears will get used up. And we need some kind of block placer. This one up there. That we can even better automate this. So let's craft this cable. Here we go. And yeah, you can place them and break them by hand. So I break this block and I place it and it gets rid of it. Of course, it's multiple blocks. So if you don't play in this tutorial world, you should create the inner chest power. It's a very useful in-game guide, but I will not show it to you as I'm playing this tutorial world. So, a lot of pages. 34. Okay, let's continue with the question. Another very simple consume energy consumer. Um, here we go. A crusher can be used to crush stone and, and gravel and other things. Yes, recipes. And it can even preserve the moss uh, state of a block. Mossy stone bricks, mostly cobblestone, but which And as with every other block, we can automate it as well. But I have built it in this world. So, the next nice machine is the autocrafter. This is a very simple early game autocrafter, which has a bit of. Uh, more difficult interface. Normal energy bar, pattern slots, where we can define what to craft, and output slots, which cannot be, which are only used for outputs. So, and if you are using a recipe viewer, you can transfer those items, and the recipe will be set automatically. Oh yeah, but we need to wait for the right block. All these trees. Yeah, those oak blocks. Uh, here we go. So, now well, let's start. We could also insert this, but we need um, those things. And of course, this can be automated too. The pattern must be set manually. But everything else can be updated. And only items will be expected which are outputs or leftover items. I will place this recipe. And here D that they will get inserted. And here when it's finished, it will get extracted automatically. Even if if it wouldn't be on the output slot, as you can see here. Okay, let's continue with the block placer. Block placer is a bit more difficult to craft, but it's nevertheless a very easy block. We have energy and an input slot. Yeah, it can do many things. As you can see, it can place up and the block will be orientated correctly, as if a player has placed this. So here we can show... Here is there, and if I would have placed it, it would be oriented the same. So, other things, we can place block entities, and we can even stack slabs. Also, yeah, horizontally. 
we can also play multi block, but I need to show you something first. If a player stands in the way or anything uh, different, anything other, it can be placed. So you need to get, go away. We can also place vertical double blocks. We can even waterlock blocks. And we can place silver canes. But we need to have the right conditions. So a water block and a dirt or gravel set. And we can create iron golems or rivers. Please don't die. You should probably put this block on top so the iron golem wouldn't be killed. <laughs> okay. No. We continue with some inventory stuff. Batteries. Batteries can be used to store energy. Here is the simplest battery. With a charger block, we can charge this battery. Yeah. And it can be automated. So empty, can, empty batteries can be filled in and fully charged will be extracted. We can also uncharge the energy from the battery. So when I'm able to find the crafting recipe here, and here we can put full charged batteries. And if they are fully emptied, they will get extracted. Another way to produce much more power than, or a bit more power than solar panel, would be the cold action. There we go. And a very interesting feature. It can be automated, of course, and it can extract items, but only if they are leftovers. So the bucket gets extracted, but the tank's not. So but it's full, so it won't extract anything. So I need to dump all of those items. Oh, I have no more for that. Okay. Instant. Okay, the inventory collection. This is a possibility to produce energy in a player's inventory. You can enable this block, uh, this item, by, by right-clicking. And we need some fuel. But they won't be extract, um, used up in the toolbar, or in armor slots, or in the offense slot. But if they're placed inside the inventory, they will get used up. And as you can see, all items are charged, and the energy is better. Okay, but we need even more power, and for that we can upgrade our solar panels. The solar panel to tier 2 is the best solar panel that can be used with the copper cables. As they produce 512 Fe and the copper cable can transfer 1 kilo, kilo Fe. And for that we can create, you can upgrade our battery so we can store more energy. And we can upgrade it. Again. And with the tier 3 battery, we can create the energy other vessel. This is a very useful item. As I will show you here, you need to charge it, of course, and then you can see if a block is, is an energy block or not, and how much energy is stored, and stuff like that. If I want to break this and place this, see that this um, charging up. <laughs> then we can upgrade our batteries even more. Everything 2 tier 5 is possible with normal items. Can be crafted with normal items. And the next battery tier would need special mod items. But I will dump those again. So, um, 
as I mentioned previously, the copper cable can only transfer one kilo FD, so we we'll need to create an upgrade for this. The golden cable. This can transfer six, 16, 16 kilo FD. And for that, we can use the next solar panel here, which would already produce four kilo FD. So, but now we have different types of cables. We need to connect them somehow. And this can be achieved with the transformers. There are three types of transformers. The normal 1 to N. 1 to N. Where is my 1 to N? This. This has one input at 5 outputs. The next would be the N to 1. This has five inputs and one output and the recipes are very similar so you can exchange those items in your inventory uh, as a craft recipe. The 3 to 3 transformer is different. This can be exchanged with other um, transformers. So to show you we can go in this room Energy analyzer for you and energy will be distributed evenly and also oh, this would be possible but if it would place it here it will with the charge with the charge. So here we can see two batteries and the battery four or five and those are charged evenly. Here, as you can see, those cables won't connect, so we need those transformers to connect them. And here's another setup. So, now we get into the interesting stuff. And I just copper ingots, the main item, or one of the main items in this mod. For starters, we need to charge with the charge, but this takes a lot of energy and a lot of time. So I will skip this, but it will be generated eventually. So we need for more advanced machine, we need an advanced machine for with four energy copper ingots. Ah. Please. Thank you. Here yeah. Then we can create the energizer with three additional energized copper ingots. So you need seven in total for this block. And with this block, you can charge energize, um, copper more efficiently. So it only requires eight kilo Fe and it's much faster. Then we can, but it needs me, um, advanced machine in general need more energy than normal, so we need better cables. And this would be the energized copper cable with more than 100 kilo Fe per tick. For more advanced solar panels, we need advanced, advanced solar cells. This can be. The tier four, tier three can, no, um, the tier four can be created with those, and then there will be another upgrade. But this comes a bit later. Then we can upgrade our battery to a better tier, tier six. And uh, for battery upgrades, not only the capacity will increase, but also the transfer rate. So other blocks which can produce energy, for example the lightning generator. This is a very interesting block, so we get a bit of thunder and try it. So this block functions very easily. We have null FE first. And with a lightning bolt, we can create one million FE. 
and you could spam this, but it wouldn't be that effective. Oh, I'm dying. <laughs> because it can only transfer 65 kilo FE per tick, so. And other blocks are even better, so it wouldn't be useful if you are just spamming with her trident. <laughs> okay, then. There's even an uh, upgrade for gold, for Energize golden ingots, and those can only be created in Energize. They need, would need too much power for the charger. And then we have Energize gold ingot. With that we can create the, the best cable of this mod. So, cable, cable. And as you can see, this has 500 kilo FE. Effort, uh, then we can upgrade our batteries to the final tiers, tier 7, is the second to last tier, and the last tier is the tier 8 battery. This can hold, store 1 million FE. Then there's the last solar panel, the T5 solar panel. For that, there's even a special achievement. And, and the last block of this mod is the charging station. This can be used to charge items wirelessly. So I take those, go to this block, and those are charged up. Evenly. <laughs> and now we are finished. You know everything about Energize Power as of version 1.4.5. And as you can see, we have unlocked every achievement of this mod. And I hope you liked this video. If so, please like and subscribe. Don't forget to turn on all notifications. So do you don't miss out uh, on future videos. I will see you next time. Bye.